Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be good for all signs. We're going to do new love. Um, so this is going to be good for those of you who have something brand new showing up for you, um, a new person that you're dealing with, or if you're curious about the next <clears throat> connection that's coming in for you, Aries. We're going to start with Aries and then we're going to go all the way to Pisces. Uh, it's going to be, I, I feel like I'm only going to spend a couple minutes on each sign, um, but feel free to timestamp. If I have time, I will too, and that will be located in the description box, and I'll pin uh, timestamps. Okay, so Aries, we have a new love, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's see <clears throat> what's coming in for Aries and new love. Tell me about how your person how aries person is going to show up what's the energy of aries new person new love aries sun moon rising venus new love for aries this person could be at a distance from you i'm getting <clears throat> you may meet someone here who's at a distance from you wow look at that two of cups there is a strong attraction here um, mutual attraction. This could be, wow, look at that. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups. This could be some sort of um, soul mate connection, soul contract. It could be with a Leo. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, but I feel like this person's probably going to be at a distance from you. Could be a lot of online communication. Um, yeah, and then the world again. So some sort of, I feel like for sure, those of you I'm connecting with, you're gonna meet somebody new at a distance. There is potential here for a steady growth, uh, long-term commitment union here, Aries, in this new connection. Yeah, but somebody needs to be willing to step into the unknown. So your person's energy is showing up really good. Okay, they're open to exploring the next stage, stages of love with you. Okay, they're going to be trying to find out information on you, um, trying to figure you out. It's like very, they're very, they're very curious about you, Aries. So where is this new love going? The lovers could, could be a Gemini <clears throat> and the magician could be Virgo. Knight of Swords. So this moves very quickly, okay? You manifested this, they manifested it. Um, strong attraction, strong mutual attraction between the two of you. So where is this going? The sun. It's going to lead to happiness here. Again, could be done with a Leo. A lot of growth. Um, happiness. There is a lesson. This connection is divinely guided. There is a lesson here. It could be with a Sagittarius as well, but the Wheel of Fortune is here. So things are moving in your favor. It's a destined connection. This is faded. Wow, it looks really good. It's going to bring in a lot of joy and happiness and love here. Okay. But again, there are some lessons, so there will be some turbulence here. So keep that in mind, Aries. But overall, your new love looks right. <laughs> strong connection. Uh, very strong attraction. Okay. You want them. They want you. Okay. This was manifested. This was de fate destined. Okay. So that looks really good. Looks really good, Aries. Let's move on to Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and new love, Taurus. Let's look at how Taurus's new person is showing up. For those Tauruses dealing with new love. New love for Taurus. Could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. How is it? Or this is just talking about... <clears throat> your new person uh, does have some sort of emotional feelings towards you or they, they could be in, in that energy, be somewhat emotional. So show me, uh, um, wow, well, <laughs> show me Taurus's new person's energy, new love. What is Taurus's new person's energy? How are they showing up here? I felt like a card flipped over. Okay, you got manifesting as well. Some of you could have Aries in your chart. Um, your person is showing up as healing from something. Three of Swords in reverse. Your person's definitely healing from some sort of heartbreak. Yeah. Um, it looks like they are doing the work though. Like they have recently healed. Okay, the Hermit. They have definitely done some soul searching. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Yeah, divine timing. 
three of wands had manifest in you. So your person showing up is like they recently healed from something. They did a lot of soul searching. Um, you guys are definitely divine timing is at play here for you in this new connection. This person's open to new beginnings, new potential and connections, um, exploring the unknown. Okay. It could be at a distance from you as well, but if you want this person, they want you back. <clears throat> They're moving into their alignment. I'm getting. Okay. For some of you, this is someone that you're friends with. I'm getting, uh, where is this going? New love for Taurus. Where is this headed? New love. There's a lot of stress here. Uh, it could be a fire sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, see, where is this headed? Someone may have two options. Um, there's an energy here of not really trusting someone. You may find out this person has another option. It feels like where this is headed is like a burden. You have the Ten of Wands. The star, six of swords, and nine of swords. A lot of air energy as well. It could be dealing with an air sign. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But there is a sense of remaining hopeful, moving through, working through a period of time of not trusting this person. Okay, there is a lot of anxiety, stress um, in regards to the situation. But then afterwards, there's an energy here of moving past it. So you may have some turbulence in this connection, <clears throat> this new love connection in regards to trusting, okay? Um, but again, there's an energy here with the star and the six of swords of moving past that, moving to better times, okay? <clears throat> but yeah, I'm getting very strong. A lot of you are having a difficult time trusting this new person, okay? So I do see that. Let's look at Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Okay, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. New love. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Those of you dealing with someone new. How is Gemini's person? <clears throat> it could be a Scorpio showing up in this new connection. Gemini. <clears throat> Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. could be a Virgo as well, I'm getting. How is your new person showing up? How's your new person? What is the new person's energy for Gemini? It could be a Cancer, Taurus as well. Okay. So this person is moving away from something. Okay. I feel like could be some travel involved or you could meet this person while you're traveling. This person's current energy is they're walking away from a commitment right now. So they're moving away from something that they were really unhappy in. Gemini. Okay. <clears throat> They're leaving the past behind, seek, seeking a deeper meaning, trying to move towards uh, two of cups, trying to find their happiness here, okay? <clears throat> so this person may be moving towards you or is becoming open to starting something new, all right? Where is this headed with Gemini? Where is this headed? Yeah, I see they're coming out of that energy. Where is this headed? <clears throat> yep. Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups, look at that. Something brand new. The Hermit in Reverse. So I told you they're, they're getting out of the space of walking away from something and trying to seek a deeper meaning, trying to manifest something new. Um, and it looks like it's going to lead to the Ten of Cups, which is an emotional fulfillment, okay? Being in um, harmony, okay? Happy union, family. They want that with you. New love. Overwhelming emotions is here open to new experiences here okay so yeah your person is walking away from something right now could be a marriage or a long-term commitment you have cancer taurus virgo <clears throat> um water energy cancer scorpio pisces okay so that is what i see for you it could be a leo too i just got gemini let's look at cancer sun moon rising venus new love Cancer. Something comes in very quick. A lot of back and forth communication between you and someone. Lots of back and forth messages. Cancer. Okay. How is Cancer's new person showing up? New love. How is their new person showing up? Cancer. 
Cancer. Could be a Taurus. <clears throat> Six of Cups, soulmate connection. Could be a, a Scorpio. All right, this person comes in very unexpected. <clears throat> I don't know why. Let me drink some water. This person comes in very unexpectedly, okay? Some sort of divine in intervention. This is a soulmate connection or a past life connection, okay? Some of you do have someone from the past returning. Someone here, this person is trying to do some inner work right now. Your person's showing up as they may have experienced some sort of traumatic experience, some, maybe some sort of ending when it came to a commitment, okay? Or, <clears throat> again, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Scorpio. But your person's in a space of thinking a lot about the past. They could be asking about you. I'm getting really strong, Cancer, for a lot of you. This is someone that is in your, like, your distant past here who is resurfacing. All right, I know we're talking about new love, but I can't help what comes out. For a lot of you, that's what's happening. New love for Cancer. How is your person showing up? Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, strong Gemini. There's a very strong uh, mutual attraction between the two of you. Okay. Where is this going? Where is this headed for Cancer? So Moon, Rising, Venus. <clears throat> yeah, someone's coming out of a dark night of the soul, feeling very empty, disconnected here. Four of Swords, yeah. The Emperor and the Five of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. You guys, I'm... I hate to say this because I know this is new love, but you guys have someone from your past returning. And I feel like, um, or it could be like some sort of soul tie connection for some of you. It could be an Aries as well. But in your, where is this headed? Someone is blocking this out, leaving the other person out in the cold. Five of Pentacles, Four of Swords, withdrawing from this, healing from it, um, feeling very empty and disconnected and setting boundaries here. Okay. So, that's what I'm seeing. Aries, uh, Taurus, Scorpio, Gemini, and Air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is what I'm seeing here. So <clears throat> let's look at Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo. Who's dealing with the Sagittarius? Your person is showing up as having like a lot of responsibilities or just like a lot going on. Uh, you could be dealing with someone who has children and they're really trying to focus on uh, their children is what I'm getting for some of you. Could be a cancer. Could be at a distance from you, Leo. New love for Leo. Could be a Pisces for some of you. <clears throat> Leo, new love, Leo. Got a lot of online communication showing up or a lot of back and forth communication tell me about leo's new person show me their current energy current energy this person feels like you're a catch current energy for leo i just saw the king of wands wanting to flip over he was dealing with another fire sign leo sag aries in their current energy they feel like you're a catch here but there's a lot of internal conflict going back and forth here weighing out their options and wanting to move towards you um, <clears throat> for some of you, this person feels like maybe you're forbidden or their friends and family won't approve of your connection. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini as well, but there's a strong attraction here. They feel very attracted to you, but they're kind of going back and forth. They could have a lot going on, as I said before, which is causing some sort of internal conflict, but they feel like you're a catch. Where's this going? Where is this headed for Leo? This new love connection. Where is it headed for Leo? There's justice again. Five of Swords. Someone here is really focused on money or finances, or somebody works a lot. That could get, that could be a blockage here in your new connection. Um. There's a lot of confusion surrounding where this is headed. <laughs> A lot of overthinking, overanalyzing going on here. Knight of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. Things are moving in your favor, especially if you're dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And where this is headed, it's time. No more running from this. So if someone's kind of going back and forth, seeming like in and out here, there's an energy of <clears throat> where this is headed. This person's opening up to love. Things are moving. Things are shifting. 
Okay, there's going to be some sort of balance restored in this connection, some sort of decision made to move things forward. Okay, I do feel like somebody is doing a lot of heavy thinking when it comes to this connection. Someone's scared to open up, but I do see them moving out of that energy, Leo. Could be dealing with an Aries as well, or an age difference between the two of you. Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Virgo. Someone here feels like you're rejecting them. New love for Virgo. Sun, moon, raising Venus. New love. What is the energy of the person that Virgo is dealing with? In new love. Someone here is trying to heal from something. Accepting some sort of growth, self-care, trying to make healthier choices. Justice could be done with a Libra. Again, Ten of Pentacles. This person wants a long-term commitment with you. They're trying to heal from some sort of past heartbreak. But they want the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, they could be in their head about it. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Libra. Um, <clears throat> there's some sort of regret here that they're feeling. But they want some. They want the Ten of Pentacles. They want a long-lasting union, something stable, something solid. Um, someone here has a decision to make, though. Where is this headed? Nine of Pentacles. Where this is headed is someone wants to be single. There could be a missed opportunity here. Someone wants to be single. You you are your person and your outcome. Where is this headed? Someone wants to just be single and date, I'm getting. And this is showing up as a missed opportunity with the Five of Cups. Okay, so... Virgo. Okay, so Libra. Let's take a look at Libra. New love for Libra. 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 New love. So tell me about Libra's current situation or with their new love connection what is the current energy of libra's new love connection current energy libra you could be dealing with an aries someone here is wishing Ooh, very strong <laughs> sexual connection or very strong attraction with this person um your person is really showing up in a very masculine powerful and authoritative position could be dealing with another air sign libra gemini aquarius as well but um, this person is showing up as wishing for things to move forward, wanting things to move forward. Libra, where is this headed? Someone's really focused on money or focused on their career. Seven of Pentacles, doing a lot of thinking. Where is this headed? Yeah, someone's really focused on work. <clears throat> Oof. Someone gets left out in the cold here in the outcome. So someone new, I'm getting your new love connection may work a lot or if they're really focused on money, which makes someone here feel kind of rejected or left out. So there's an energy here of reevaluating whether or not this is something you or they want to put work into. Okay. There's some sort of lesson here. I do see separation coming up for you and the person you're dealing with. Some sort of separation. I just heard though, but it's not forever. So... There could be a pause period here where someone's trying to figure something out, reevaluating or thinking, is this going to be something long term or not? OK, this person wants to sweep you off your feet, though. I'm getting OK, Scorpio. New love for Scorpio. Can you tell me for Scorpio's new love connection? Scorpio. New love. How is Scorpio's new person showing up? Scorpio. How's your new person showing up? What is their energy for Scorpio? New love for Scorpio. How are they showing up? 
new love. What is their current energy? Some internal conflict. We're done with an Aries. Again, woo, 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 look at this. You get the Emperor and the Empress. Divine masculine, divine feminine. Showing up in your reading. Um, this is your person, Scorpio. This new person, this is it. This is the one. Or they feel that way towards you. Ace of Pentacles. Um, very stable new beginning with this individual. Six of Swords. Yeah, they want to move. Wow, look at that. You have Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. There could be some internal conflict surrounding moving things forward here. Doing some research on this person, trying to figure them out. They're trying to do this to you, right? To get how it resonates. Um, but yeah, there is some internal conflict surrounding moving forward. However, you have the Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, the Emperor and the Empress. Like, this is the best one that we've done. <laughs> this looks really good. This is your person. This is your person. Okay, where is this headed? Where is this headed? Thought I saw a card flip over. There's some sort of lesson here for you guys as well in this connection. I do feel like it's going to be very equal give and take here. Yeah, date spending time together coming out of conflict here um <clears throat> this could be a friendship that turns into love reciprocity equal give and take with the six of pentacles it's a very generous and balanced relationship that you have um five of wands in reverse is like coming out of conflict moving away from that you guys don't really have conflict i'm getting like you guys really met your person here um, could have came after a period of healing I'm getting for some of you. There's a lot of uh, conversation back and forth. Divine masculine, divine feminine. Some of you met a twin flame connection. Won't be for everyone. But I do see that here. This is very fiery, very passionate, strong attraction. And then also very stable. Could be an earth sign or a fire sign. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right. Looks good. Could be another Scorpio for some of you as well. really good okay sag sagittarius sun moon raising venus sagittarius <clears throat> new love how is sagittarius's new person new love showing up what is their current energy for sagittarius Current energy for Sag. Now you got a lot of nines, tens. Look, nine, 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 tens. They're wrapping up some sort of cycle here currently. They do feel like you're a catch. Um, they want something stable here. They feel like you're a wish fulfillment, but there's a lot of uh, fears surrounding that. Could be in their head a lot when it comes to a commitment here. They do have a fear of losing you. They could be weighing out their options, uh, whether they're ready to move forward or not with this Three of Swords, okay? They could be coming out of a third-party situation. Could be an Aquarius, trying to remain hopeful. This is a divinely guided connection, okay? Moving towards you. Could be after a period of darkness, I'm getting. This looks really good, actually. 999, so that could be significant for someone. Look up the angel number 999. Could be a message for you. <clears throat> Where is this headed for Sagittarius? Could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Look at that, Ace of Cups. Something new, new beginning here. Could be with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You have Queen of Swords. Death could be a Scorpio. Someone here is evaluating whether or not they should walk away from this, though. There is some sort of transformation but it leads to the Ace of Cups. So yeah, there may be a timeout. Someone may be, someone may withdraw and do a little bit of healing or soul searching if this is really what they want, okay? Reevaluating, and then it leads to this brand new beginning. So I do feel like if someone withdraws, like allow them to be in that space, they're going through some sort of transformation here, doing some healing. Because I do feel like this person is coming out of like a dark period, okay, and trying to heal from some sort of heartbreak or third-party situation. So they're very uncertain if they want a long-lasting marriage-type connection with you, but they do feel like you're a wish fulfillment. So they may need some time 
to evaluate this. But it leads to a brand new beginning. Sag. <clears throat> okay. Capricorn. New love for Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn's new person. Could be a Pisces for some of you. Capricorn, new love. One more. Could be a Sagittarius. Capricorn. Okay, Ch tell me the energy of Capricorn's new person, new love. What is going on in their new person's energy? It could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, so divine timing is here. Divine timing is here. Um, so you guys are meeting at the right time. This was a divine, divinely guided connection. Queen of Cups could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, as I said. But this person feels like you're a wish fulfillment for them. They could be asking about you. Um, this is definitely a new romance. Could be a Gemini. There's a strong attraction here. Okay. Where is this headed? Knight of Swords. Knight of Cups. Six of Wands. Ooh, someone's being vulnerable here. It leads to a victory. Six of Wands. <clears throat> this leads to a victory. Love is arriving. So this person they could come in very unexpected, very quickly, and they want to sweep you off your feet, or they will sweep you off your feet, okay? They're going to offer you some sort of romantic proposal. Capricorn, okay? Aquarius. Aquarius. All right, let's see. Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. There's your card. Um, <clears throat> new love for Aquarius. What's coming in? New love. Tell me about their new person's energy. Could be a, another air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. New love for Aquarius. A lot of back and forth communication. Someone here could be trying to remove themselves from a marriage or a long-term commitment right now in the current energy in order to move things forward. Okay, there is current energy. Yeah, someone could be learning some sort of soul lesson, karmic lesson here and moving away from that. I get, I'm getting that really strong. There's an energy of this person being undecided on what it is that they want. There's a lot of outside influences or other variables playing a a factor in this new love connection okay i do see a lot of back and forth communication with this person but there there's a lack of trust here or someone could be deceptive okay where is this headed seven of cups someone has choices uh options here this could be someone who has a high profile okay someone very prideful could be a leo for some of you where is this headed yeah very focused on money finances financial gain it's like money over love so money could play a factor in this connection uh, eight of pentacles wanted to come out in reverse so you guys may decide that this isn't worth putting effort into and you're better off single is what i'm getting for those aquariuses that i'm picking up on someone was trying to manifest this though could be dealing with the virgo Yeah, that's what I'm getting. For some of you, it could be a friendship that turns into love as well. Okay. I do see someone getting some sort of mental clarity and emotionally detaching from a situation here. Okay. Pisces. New love for Pisces. New love for Pisces. New love for Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Someone here is scared of rejection. Pisces. Okay, tell me about Pisces' new person. Current energy for Pisces. Could be uh, Scorpio. New love. Virgo. Judgment. More Scorpionic energy. Okay, 
so your person's current energy they're doing some soul searching they're kind of withdrawn here they could have had some sort of unexpected event happen there's some sort of divine intervention here okay they are scared of you rejecting them <laughs> pisces new love they're feeling their energy is like very imbalanced actually right now they're really stuck in their ego i'm getting king of swords could be a libra gemini aquarius someone here is trying to stay emotionally detached because they're scared of rejection or scared of opening up what is where is this going new love where is this going could be a leo wow look at this but it does lead to a new beginning here ace of cups two of cups it does lead to happiness with the sun here the chariot could be a cancer sagittarius is here as well queen of swords well you have the king and queen of swords um ace of cups two of cups there's some sort of transformation happening things are moving forward this is a destined event destined connection here divinely guided connection they're saying trust the journey also for some of you i hate to say this but this is king and queen of swords is typically like an x this could be somebody resurfacing from your past i know this is a new love reading but i have to say what comes out i don't have control Okay, um, but yeah, there is an opportunity here for some of you for a new beginning with someone from your past. Um, but for those of you who have brand new love coming in, this you definitely have a soulmate connection here. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. And it's a destined, it's fated. Okay, there's a fated change in your love life here happening that was divinely guided. Some sort of transformation. Could be with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. Um, or Scorpio. I'm getting more Scorpionic energy. Okay. So that is what I see for you guys. I hope that was helpful. I hope that was helpful. I hope that brought you guys some clarity uh, to your situations and new love. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you like this spread. Um, and I hope you guys have a good Sunday. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.